Hi, I'm Sam. I talk about horror, thrillers, and romance with a sprinkling of other genres on my channel. And today we are talking about books with a snowy setting. This video is directly inspired by the fact that I finished The Shuddering by Anya Alborn yesterday and it crushed my soul into a million tiny pieces. <laughs> And I was like, you know what, let's just talk about a bunch of books that have snowy, often isolated settings. This book sent me into an emotional tailspin. The Shuddering follows a group of friends who are visiting a family cabin, if you can call this fancy giant place a cabin, uh, for one final hurrah before they part ways as adults going on their lives. Tensions quickly overflow as this group has a lot of history and uh, complications within their relationships, but little do they know that the real threat is outside waiting in the woods. This book started strong and just kept going. Um, there are multiple POVs, some of which you never see again if you catch my drift, and I really liked the way that the author tied those in with scenes from our core group that really helped elevate the tension. The real thing about this book is you know, they're battling so many different elements. They are dealing with these complex relationships and histories that they have, but they're also dealing with, um, you know, realizing that they are kind of running low on food. They're realizing that uh, it is suddenly so much snowier than before and they might be stuck there. And then they realize that there is a real, true supernatural threat out there in the woods. And I mean, this book, when I say this book started out strong, I mean this book started out strong. Um, it takes no prisoners, and in true Allborn fashion, the ending... <laughs> I mean, I should know already, you know? Like, I should know. I've read a few books by um, Allborn. I screamed at the end of this book. <laughs> ah, nothing. Just, she just grips you and she, you should read it. That's all I'm saying. Another book that I read that I really enjoyed um, is Bone White by Ronald Malfi. I listened to this on audiobook. It was narrated by Charles Constant, who did a great job. And this book um, features a brother who, when he hears about a mass murder in Dred's Hand, Alaska, he books it over there because that was the last place his brother was seen and he is concerned that his brother may have been a victim. But this town is weird. It's not even really a town. It's super tiny. It's full of superstitious citizens who really don't want to talk to him and don't seem that eager to help him figure out what happened to his brother. This is a slow, unraveling book that steadily builds up a sense of dread. And similar to Come With Me, uh, Malfi really uses... That's a cat. Malfi really... <laughs> uses familial connections that, in a way that makes the book feel super authentic and emotional. It, it really kind of pulls you into the books. Um, I, I gave this, I think, either 4, 4.5 stars. I admit that this book is pretty slow. He tends to do slow horror thriller situations. Um, but I appreciate the way he does it because, like I said, he uses those familial connections and this sense of loss to really keep things going even when they're slow. I haven't actually read any of his books on like digital or physical. I've only listened to them on audio. So I, w I would say listen to this on audio because it unravels perfectly. Like if you're going out to a cabin and you need something to listen to while you're like doing other things, you might want to try this because it's great. A book that I read um, as a NetGalley arc was The Hollows by Daniel Church. And this has folk horror, creature feature, human monsters, a snowy setting, isolation, horror thrown in. It's just like, it's got everything. And the, the Hollows focuses on a small remote village as a blizzard cuts them off from civilization and the snow is definitely not what they should be concerned about. Uh, something or someone is killing off residents and soon everyone is going to have to fight for survival. The Hollows is well written, it's entertaining, and full of tension. You've got threads on all sides, 
and some might be easier to handle than others. And what's super fun is that our main cast of like characters are fighters, are people who are gonna do something about this, are women, which is cool. And one of our characters is from a family of criminals and she gets almost like a redemption situation going on that is just uh, really adds to the story. I loved so much about this book. Um, I, I think it is one of the most perfect winter reads because it really just kind of gives you the terror of what it would be like to be trapped due to a blizzard and have nowhere to go with danger everywhere. It's wonderful. A book that you might be more familiar with is Near the Bone by Christina Henry, which follows a woman who is living on an isolated mountainside and is facing monsters, both human and creature alike. This book is so incredibly tense. It kept me on the edge of my seat in a way that was almost distressing. It's super emotional and almost painful at times. The main character is in constant danger and she, in a situation like hers, she understands that accepting help could mean the end for her and the people who are trying to help her. Now, I am going to say there's definitely trigger warnings for this book, um, because when I say it's emotional, I mean it will, the human monster aspect hits you in a way that is just so incredibly realistic and disturbing. So I have those here, proceed with caution. My last book is Voices in the Snow by Darcy Coates. A woman wakes up in a mysterious dark house and her rescuer tells her that she was in a car accident, he saved her. And she wants to trust him, she wants to trust her savior, but he keeps insisting that they're the only ones in the house, but she is definitely seeing and hearing things that convince her otherwise. This book is sort of a post-apocalyptic horror mystery with isolation elements as the snowstorm just cuts them off from civilization. And a big element of this is body horror. So if you like body horror, you might want to check this out because it has a large focus in this book. Um, I think it'll have a larger focus in the rest of the series. I will tell you when I read the rest. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my videos, please make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it.